Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use loops in C Sharp, and I will start with a while loop. And in the next couple of video, I will teach you how to use do while and for loop and some other formats of loop. So let's start with a loop. So what is a loop? A loop is a code or a piece of code which enables you to do a particular task again and again. Okay. So as the name suggests, it will loop through the statement or the task again and again until and unless your provided condition is not true. So let's see uh, how we can use loop to print 10 numbers from 1 to 10. So what I have done is I have written this code to print the number. So I will ask the user to enter, please enter a number. And then whenever he enters the number using this read line, I will pass this number to the integer and I will store this into this int variable, which is number. I've also declared a integer variable called int. And I have initialized it with, for example, 0. Okay. Now let's see how we can declare a while loop. A while loop start with this keyword while. And then you give this with brackets. And then you give these curly braces. So in this brackets comes the condition. And inside these curly braces comes your statement or the task you want to perform. So I want to print 10 numbers, right? So what I can do is I can say while count is less than my number, which is this one, I want to print that number. So I will say number. And I will use this placeholder to show the number and I will say N O. Okay. And let's give this slash N to change the line. Okay. And this slash must be backslash. And now I will increase the value of count one by one. So I will say count plus plus. So this count plus plus will increase the value by one by one. So let's just run the code and let's see what happens and I will explain you once again. Now I have run the code and it will ask me to enter a number. I will enter a number and I will press enter and it repeats my print statement 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? So I'm printing this number 10 times. Now, to make it more interesting, I will just change this number by this count. And I will start it once again. And I will just give 10 once again and I will press enter. And now you can see it starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And total these are 10 numbers. Right? So now what this code is doing, first of all user has entered a number, for example 10. And this count value is 0. Okay? So it goes to this while loop and it sees, okay, 0 is less than 10. So I will print this. And the value of count is 0. So I will print number is equal to 0. And I will increase the count by 1. So now the value in the count is 1. And then once again it will go to the while condition. And once again it sees 1 is less than 10. So it will print 1 here. Once again count will be increased by 1. So its value is 2. It goes here. 2 is less than 10, it performs this code. Then 3, 3 is less than 10, 
4 is less than 10, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and it as soon as it sees that the count is 10 this code will not be performed okay so it will go up to 9 because 9 is less than 10 and when it the value of count is 10 10 is not less than 10 so it will not print this 10 here so in this way you can loop around a statement and you can perform a certain statement or a certain piece of code again and again to print this value or to perform some task until and unless your condition is true okay so while this condition is true you can perform this code otherwise it will go out of the code okay now as we have seen in the last video you can use break to break a loop or a statement so you can write break and you can just do it like this and what this break does is it will break the loop and for the first time whenever it's your code sees this break in the loop it will just go out of the loop right for example, I will just run the code once again and I will give 10 input once again. And you can see here it only printed 0. Why it printed 0? Because once again the number value is 10, count is 0. It will go here and it will perform your code. It will print number is equal to 0. It will increase the count. But it sees there is a break here. So it doesn't go around the loop but it goes out of the loop when it sees this break so this use of break is also important in some conditions whenever you need to go out of the loop without performing the whole condition so just remember that so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now